Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play a little bit more of our campaign as uh, Tunis. Tunis? We need to build some more light ships, don't we? Why, yes, yes, we do. Head over to Barcelona. That's where this army will be in just a moment. And these other 32 troops, I think, will take over to. Uh, probably like Calabria would be fine. Not enough supply here for anyone else. Uh, let's land in. Uh, Salerno and shift these two down. Should be a little bit more straightforward that way. We got our three diplomats. 27 war score with Portugal right now. We are only asking for 13. Sorry, 33. Uh, we're negative 13 reasons for peace at the moment. Coalition's looking uh, sort of better. Molten's gone. Looks like Molten's out of there. That's the only, the only real one I actually wanted to avoid. Okay. So, we wait for your enthusiasm to slip down to low and we should be able to get our peace deal. We have four active forts right now. I don't think we need these right now. My other active forts are probably... Ah, oh, gee, which, which ones are they? We have 16 that we own and four that we're paying for over here. I'm assuming that they cost me money right now. Lisboa is zero because it borders the sea. Look at this. Isn't that interesting how you actually don't pay anything for forts that the AI wouldn't have to pay for? So, Braganza, Lisboa, Badajoz are all free, as is Algarve. All four of the Portuguese forts here are free because they border AI or they border water. Worth knowing. So that means that I do still have two forts on and I don't know where the hell they are. If I was a fort that I was paying for, where would I be? Oh, right, these two up here. Um, not actually planning on going to war with France just yet. Let's turn those off. We're bleeding money kind of quick here. That army can stay there for preparation against preparations against Aragon. Waiting on this thing and waiting on his enthusiasm. That's about it. Every month is an opportunity for him to uh, slip down to low. Looks like it's going to be one more month. Okay, cores. We can start a core soon. Next month. No military access for you. Definitely wouldn't mind expanding into this. Ah, it's its own buyer bass. Never mind. Want to take this land? Want to take that land? Um, Want to take Bender and Moldavia? 26 development and 5. France is... uh going to separate piece him. He's not going to take any land from him. He's got 75,000 troops over there. That's quite a few. It's pretty brutal. I love when you get to the stage in the game where you're strong enough that you can ignore your aggressive expansion and just kind of go crazy. It's fun. Still no sign of the Portuguese fleet. I have no idea where it's been this entire time. New Scandinavia is a place. That's cool. Finished a core. We can start a core. Civis. No one's allowed military access. I gotta say though, I am I am looking forward to starting a new campaign. I feel like this campaign has gone well toward the end, but I had some serious obstacles that I were they were self-imposed, right? We we reflected on this like 30 or 40, or maybe it was 50 episodes at this point ago. Um allowing a coalition to fire in the first place and giving up all my holdings in, in Italy was so, so stupid. Um losing half my army to the Ottomans, like ever the, these things slowed the campaign down so much. We could be we could have been where we are right now probably 50 years ago if I hadn't made those mistakes. Not to mention the bankruptcy. Oh god, 10 years of bankruptcy. But I kind of had to take the debt to beat the Ottomans the first time. It's just that, uh... You know, it was, it was a... It's been a, a rough campaign. Alright, uh, you're still not willing to peace out, but you're only at negative 7. Should be there soon. We have our ticking war score going for us. We have war enthusiasm. Uh, Portuguese war exhaustion plus 3. And you're at 6.6. .6. Still wish you could see how much they're going to gain each month based on occupation at least. Maybe not maybe not the attrition amount, but knowing how much they're going to gain due to your occupations would be pretty useful information. Okay, January 1733, we can raid coasts. We're about a year or so away from that. You're in three months. We can attack Persia, the Ottomans, and Ethiopia in about January of 41. So it's ten years away. Until then, we've got free reign on so many countries right now. Like, I could attack Genoa, 
I could attack. I could attack a lot of people right now. Just lost General Jafar. Is he one of my three siege guys? He was not. Therefore, we don't care about him. We're very far ahead of time. 14 years ahead of time on military tech. I'm going to go ahead and just hire a new general then, since we're above 60 tradition. We ended up with a 3542. Very good. Abu Bakr. Lose money or lose piety and gain money? I think we lose the piety. We are trying to convert stuff, but our conversion speed's pretty respectable at the moment. We're paying for a max. This is a very expensive guy. The, uh,. It'd be nice if we could get a half price guy there. Yeah, I think we can afford to do this. I'd rather have that guy than the trade efficiency guy. Not to mention, we kind of need to still try to get rid of aggressive expansion. It would be good, right? The more we can avoid having them, uh, Try to do that coalition-y kind of crap with us, the better. I'm wasting a lot of diplomats here waiting for the opportune time to end this war, but I'm not going to stop. Hey, look at that. We actually made money last month. Hey, we made money last month as well. Cool. Okay, now we're at negative four reasons. Need some imperialism against a few more people. I mean, I want to start spying on France again, but we can't really afford to do it just yet. The 2413. If we're going to have a two, uh, two guy, do we want to have the 36 or the 35? Clearly the 3-6 is better than the 3-5, but not by much. Come on, Portugal. I know I'm just asking for, you know, your capital, but, uh... It's only 3-3 peace deal, because we don't have to ask for the thing from Lithuania. Salzburg will pay France war reps. Wait, isn't that the actual guy you declared on? And all you ended up taking was money and war reps? That's kind of weird. Okay, that means that Moldavia is available for attacking, since he's no longer being sieged. Chernigov, Austria, Nitra. Nitra. There's the peace deal. Okay, so, ah, uh, we have three diplomats. Send. Just seeing if we can maybe weasel out a little bit of money. Nope, no money. Okay. Coalition. A lot of aggressive expansion. Yep, okay, go ahead. We'll do that. Uh, we'll slowly gain down to speed two. Get our peace deal tomorrow. We will create our client state over here. The best province to do it in is going to be the highest development province, which is going to be the Lisboa capital. We'll create a client state here. This is going to be Western Tunis. We'll make them... Uh, I think I've been doing local dynasty instead of your dynasty, because I don't want them to uh, ever become a personal union. And I think that can happen with client states. Map color's fine. Randomize their flags or whatever. You know what? No, I'm I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna change their emblem to be mine. The horse. Let's find the horse. I want the exact same horse that we have. It's not that one. That one's like kind of rearing. It's prancing a bit. Don't tell me it's not actually an available symbol. That would make sense, would it? You should be able to recreate the flags that are already in-game, right? Maybe not. No, we're back to the... this thing here. Got the paradox symbol, that's kind of cool. But uh, I guess we go with the horse that's sort of similar. Go with that one, and then... Uh, I don't know, the, the actual thing there doesn't matter to me too much. Well, actually, I, I want to try to make it as close to ours as we can. I'm going to take the time to do this, I just think it's fun. Western Tunis, customized subject. We've got, like, a white thing. we got that angle. Flag color. Only 17, I've already gone through them all. I guess we go with like... 
I don't know, blue, and then we'll do white on the thing there. It's close, but we gotta make the horse black. And I can't make the horse black, can I? Alright, whatever. It's a white horse. It's similar-ish. Okay, and we'll also give them Algarve. Blind states are awesome. Okay, so his uh, autonomy should drop down here. Uh, we won't go one more day. I need to start integrating Armenia, assuming we're above 190. Please tell me we're above 190. We are good. Annex Vassal, 1,344 points. That's right, I wanted to finish the idea group before I started integration. But no, I want to start integrating right now. We're going to integrate stupid fast, even with the, uh, the thing. Never mind. Diplomatic reputation is actually really bad right now. Overextension. Well, that's temporary, though, because I was actually much higher a second ago. Okay, and then with the third diplomat, uh, we declare war on the Papal State before he can join the Coalition with Imperialism. And we go. Alright. We are now at war with the most dangerous member of the Coalition. No concerns there. Alright, our diplomatic reputation should have just changed. So, integration speed may be faster. Yep, up to three now. And we have plenty of policies that are going to be available once we get rid of our overextension and we finish this other idea group. So we're still going to be gaining quite a few Dipple points. We should still be able to knock this final idea out pretty quick. We have that claim. Your autonomy and your capital should be zero. I probably won't update till maybe the end of the month. I don't know. Why is it still showing 75%? Showing he should have a full real core there. And then everything else he needs to core himself. There it goes. Yeah, I just needed the end of the month. Okay. He had a sand. Currently trying to core yet a sand right now. Okay. Go on to Shah Resort. I don't want to, uh, I want to start this war as well, so let's grab this guy here, turn that forward on for a second. Um, we have military access? We do not. I also want to attack Castile. I don't believe that their navy is too comparable. Papal State does have eight heavies, I have eight heavies and more transports. Did you notice, did you hear that, uh, the... Naval combat mechanics are going to change in the next patch. Heavies are going to be size three combat width. That is pretty significant, a very significant change. He does have 10 galleys. It's hard to say, you know, but I would really prefer to just have naval superiority here, so... Let's, uh, let's go for it. He's got a 1-1-1 general. Or, or admiral, rather. My primary fleet's here. No sense in throwing them in. Transports are nowhere near as good at combat as light ships, though, right? Our light ships have a hull size of 20, our transports have a hull size of 30. These guys have two and a half times as many cannons. So yeah, um, I think what we do... ...is we go ahead and combine everyone for a moment, and uh, we want to have 27 combat width worth of ships. 27 is going to be 19. I need 19 light ships in good condition. And they should be what type? Our ship design is the... Heavy Frigate. Let's make sure we have all Heavy Frigates. We're still using some War Galleons, unfortunately. We're a Heavy behind. That takes us to 27. And then... I want to take these other ships. And I want to create another batch of 27 to reinforce. Early frigates. Seriously? I have that many that are early frigates? Wait a second, were, did I do this wrong? Are these all early frigates? Oh crap! Thought I just noticed that. Uh, they're supposed to be heavy frigates. Not early frigates. There's a lot of old frigates. There's the heavy frigates. Alright, so you guys are going to go fight.
We we'll get another 27 combat with with the heavy frigates. We'll take the transports, dock them. We'll take the these ships and go back to privateering in Genoa. And these other 27 are just going to be one sea tile away, ready to reinforce, is the plan. Gulf of Toronto on the 10th, and we're in the Gulf of Toronto. No, we're in the, the sea, Strait of Messina on the 6th. 6th January of 1, it says. We need to start spying on France again. And we need to declare on Castile as soon as we can. Okay, speed 3 it is. Let's see how we do with this naval combat. I'm not too, too convinced it's going to go well. Uh... We actually did not catch him. We'll be there on the 15th now. We will catch him here. Okay, combat width should just be 27. We have better naval morale. We rolled a f 5 versus a 5. Um, we'll see. I mean, hopefully the ships that we're fighting, maybe we end up engaging some ships that are not, not the right ones. We don't want to lose morale. The whole point is that we don't want... Any sinking ships here, we don't want to affect the morale of these other guys. And unfortunately, my entire fleet just passed through there. So I guess we're fighting with all of them. Whatever. There goes all my planning, right? What was the point? Sought support amongst the Alima went away. Want to gain piety, get these guys' influence back up again, or... Yeah, I think so. You have plenty of loyalty right now. Uh, we are at level 1 stability. I don't want to buy stability up, so I don't care about the stability cost modifier. I would love to demand administrative points, but I'd also love to make that for the full points. 42. 56. Nope, the only way I'm going to get you any higher is if I like grant you a bunch of land. So we'll just take the 100 points, call it good. Shall we piss off the merchant guilds? In order to get 150 Diplo points. That sounds very appealing. I love, I especially love syncing these up. In fact, you know what? This is something I'm going to write down. Uh, we can demand administrative support 1 February 52. So Feb of 1752. Demand admin. Since the alerts don't really do a good job of letting you know when you can do it. Okay, uh, what expires soon? It's 32 right now. In 35, we lose 10%. And in 40, we lose 10%. I could revoke land. They have more land than they really need. I think we go ahead and we just demand the points. Demand the points. The plutocratic coup was the one that was ticking up. It's at 44%, so I've got 56 months if they're only going up by 0.1. By 1% by a month. If I do this... Grant Monopoly Charters, they'll gain 10 influence, taking them up above 85, so they'll have 2 ticks per month, which gives me 28 months, which is going to take me to roughly middle of 34. So we'll end up with the coup happening. I would have to revoke some territory. I think for now we just let them be disloyal, instead of worrying about it. I think we also demand military support. Mm, I mean, we have plenty of manpower, but I think we do, right? Let's just sync them all up. I love the idea of syncing them all up. 76% and something's expiring in 41. Yeah, let's let's demand the points. You can all be disloyal, it's fine. So it's not just demand admin, it's demand points from estates. They're all synced up right now. Good. And in one year we need to raid coast to get a whole bunch of money. We have no loans. Kill in the Papal States Navy. We can declare war on Castile. No allies. Declare. Uh, we will start by sieging these guys. Free siege guy. Three siege guy. Two siege guy. Once we've done this, this will give us access to Rome. Portugal has entered into a military alliance with France. It's a shame that he lost so much land. We're probably going to lose quite a few ships in this fight, if I had to guess. I don't really care, though. We'll just build more. Never mind, we're losing a lot more ships than I would have expected. We lost 5 heavies, 24 lights, and they gained 3 lights. They lost nothing. That was horrible. I need more heavies. I wanted to wait for better heavies, though. Which was going to happen in just 2 techs. 
Demanding those points certainly got us a long way towards finishing diplomatic ideas. Which will allow us to break the protectorate with uh, that guy down in Africa. Looks like we just don't have naval superiority right now. Um, I could build some heavies right now. They're not going to be the newest one. I think having some is better than having none. So let's go ahead and do it. Rather than build one in 337 days and have them be out of sync, we'll just use use provinces that are about the same. So that's going to give... I want like 10 more heavies. Okay, this one can be done. Bulgaria over to there. Could be good. I mean, there's a fair bit of development in there. What are we doing on a state limit? We got room. Okay, we'll take that one. And over here. We're going to be expanding that direction anyway, so might as well. Alright, well, not a huge amount has happened here. A little bit concerned about my power projection. We'll have to attack uh, France soon. Assuming we can actually wrestle some naval superiority and actually use these troops that I put on Corsica. Which reminds me, we should probably spread our navy back out again if we're going to be doing anything. These are all light ships. Those were That was the initial fleet with the, the heavies. Well, since we don't have naval superiority, and I don't think we're going to have naval superiority, I think we go ahead and we tell these guys to privateer in, like, Bordeaux. Or actually, we can probably get up to the English Channel, can't we? Trade nodes, total value. English Channel is up there. 44, it's got almost as much as Genoa. So yeah, let's go privateer in English Channel. And this other fleet, for now, since I'm concerned about the Papal States Navy, we'll have them privateer in some... Mm, we'll take half to Sevilla. And half to Bordeaux. We'll just ignore the Genoa node for now. Okay. All right. I got to take a break here. I'll be back, though, in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.